Hello and welcome to our channel. Here you will find all the available information on when to sell or buy digital coins, taking into account all the latest crypto news. But before we jump into the news, let's go through the cryptocurrency rates as of today, the 25th of May. So Bitcoin is now trading at 29,483,000. And it has shown the rise for the past 24 hours, 0.5%, and for the past week, 1.3%. And the decline actually for the past months, as we all know, was, was really big. It was almost 25%. Ethereum is now $1,949. And it has been showing the decline for the past uh, for the past day, uh, week, and month, 0.47% uh, for the past day, 0.76% uh, uh, for the past week, and 32% for the past month. So what else we have here is BNB. It is $324. It has shown the rise for the past day as uh, 0.7 percent and 10.8 percent for the past week okay having all this in mind i think we are ready to switch to the news whale buys 87 billion sheep while shiba balance of top investors shrinks Whale stats platform, which tracks data related to the largest 100 wallets on Ethereum, BSC, and other chains, has announced that another impressive amount of Shiba Inu has been added by a major ETH investor to his crypto stash. While this whale has bought nearly 90 billion Shiba overall, Shiba Inu holdings of the top 100 ETH investors have been diminishing. So, um, according to the aforementioned data, uh, the owner of the wallet dubbed Blue Whale 0073 purchased a total of 86 billion uh, Shiba Inu meme coins. This sum of sheep cost him one million dollars. Solaris Bank says it's helping Binance to become regulated in Germany. Banking as a service fine tax Solaris Bank says it is helping Binance achieve regulated status in Germany as the crypto exchange woos regulators globally. In an interview with the block, CEO Roland Fold said Solaris Bank's relationship with Binance began a year and a half ago and it currently provides the exchange with know your customer services in Germany and a card offering in Europe. Speaking at the Finance FWD conference in Hamburg last week, Foltz also confirmed that Solaris Bank is working with Binance so it can become fully regulated by buffing the German financial regulator. Like many crypto exchanges, Binance is on a push to win over regulators across Europe and recently achieved regulated status in France after committing 100 million euros to the country's startup ecosystem. Banking as a service fintech firms like Solaris Bank can simplify this process by offering exchanges a fully regulated plethora of fintech features such as payments, stock investment, and cryptocurrency custody. And that's what we can see that the Western world and the European countries are now kind of switching their attitude towards uh, crypto projects uh, because um, they really feel that it's like another sector of economy which can bring money as well but they want to gain to to get something in return for allowing and giving these permissions to such uh, companies for example like crypto exchanges mastercard bullish on crypto despite market crash Global payment for MasterCard has embraced an aggressive expansion strategy into crypto, capitalizing on the opportunity through partnerships. As the world shifts to Web3, MasterCard wants to become the leader. MasterCard VP Harold Buzi 
believes mass adoption of blockchain technology and digital assets will happen sooner as financial institutions move into the space. Meanwhile, Mastercard CEO Michael Maybach during the World Economic Forum's annual summit hosted by the Global Blockchain Business Council joked that SWIFT will not be a dominant cross-border payment system in the next five years. And that's an interesting, um, interesting thought because the world is really um, switching to mass adoption of blockchain technologies and crypto. And of course, uh, the world as it used to be is not going to be the same. It needs some time and uh, some time for leading economies to actually accept it. India still and Ghana state partners with Casper Labs for seamless blockchain-powered government processes. India's Telangana state has joined hands with Casper Labs to revamp operations using blockchain technology to stimulate more secure, efficient, and sustainable government processes. As a leading blockchain software company, Casper Labs will render an open network that will boost entrepreneurship opportunities for the public and private sectors in Telangana. Furthermore, blockchain initiatives are expected to empower government officials and policymakers with more insights for better decision-making. Jayesh Ranjan, the Principal Secretary of the Industries and Commerce and Information Technology Departments of the Telangana government, acknowledged the following. Casper blockchain not only offers unparalleled advanced technology, but also offers key insights to the industry that will be instrumental in our blockchain development efforts. Cardano Network has four times more active users than Ethereum in percentage terms. According to data by Messari on-chain and Market Tracker, the number of Cardano active users greatly exceeds Ethereum's in percentage terms. Such an imbalance could have been caused by a couple of factors. The total number of Cardano wallets is currently at approximately 3.6 million, which is less than 5% of Ethereum's total number of open wallets on the network. Such a sizable difference in the number of wallets does not speak in favor of Cardano, making a percentage-based comparison less objective. Prior to the release of smart contracts on Cardano blockchain, investors and users were treating ADA as a payment tool rather than a DApps platform, which is why its number of active wallets is close to Bitcoin's 2.2% compared to Ethereum's 0.63%. Doc One's plan to rebirth the Terra blockchain gets approved. The governance vote on, the, on Doc One's proposal to relaunch the Terra blockchain and create Luna 2.0 tokens has passed. This will result in the creation of a new blockchain that will airdrop tokens proportionally to those affected, following the sudden collapse of the Terra USD algorithmic stablecoin. In total, 65.5% of the total votes supported Quant's proposal. Only 13.2% who were opposed to the fork voted with no, um, no with veto. Just over 20% of votes decided to abstain. Ethereum fees dropped to new lows. This is a historic sign in relation to its price. On-chain analytics firm Sentiment reports that Ethereum's average fees are at an extremely low level, with traders having to pay a meager $2.54 per transaction presently. Sentiment notes that this is the lowest ETH cost level since July, which may be a historic sign for the price, as it says. Historically, ETH price rise after average transactions day below $5. Crypto tech startup Zen Ledger raises $15 million led by Parify Capital. Crypto tech startup Zen Ledger has closed a $15 million Series B round led by Parify Capital, 
with participation from Three Point Capital, King River Capital, and its Series A lead investor, Blockcelerate VC, among others. Then Ledger amalgamates crypto investor transaction information across exchanges, NFTs, DeFi, and wallets into one dashboard for tax purposes. And that's it for today. Thank you very much for watching this video. Don't forget to click the uh, subscribe button, like this video, and I'm waiting for you tomorrow. I wish you a super good day. Bye-bye.